There's been many requests for my Cura version 5 profiles and I am releasing them right now, including a brand new hyper fast profile to just print something quick, easy, but still functional. I'll explain it all on today's Film of Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. I created this little test print that has the Cura symbol, version 5, and various letters on the bottom. And it's just a handy little print that prints quick, but also has some features that I can test surface finish, like top surface, or even the side, how well it prints characters. So I've been using this to kind of test my various profiles, along with other prints, of course. And I released a version 0.12, which I'm calling my best profile. Now, Cura 5.0 has some unique capabilities to control the line width, like when it does walls, which really kind of throws off my profiles. And so I've had to adjust some things, and I still don't feel I'm 100%, but this is like maybe 99% of where I want to get to. So I've released this one, which I'm calling the best. I've also released a version good which is a 0.2 layer height. They're very similar in capability. Actually, I think the 0.2 layer height is probably the best bang for the buck. This one took an hour and 58 minutes to print this test print. This one took 55 minutes. So just a 0.2 layer height versus 0.12. I don't think it's really worth the quality to get the best, but on some prints it may be. But you save over an hour by printing with the 0.2 layer height. So these are the first two that I released and those are available. I'll put links to this in the description below. My most popular profile now is my extra fast profile and I've been playing with that in version five and I get a lot of gaps on prints, just spots where it just doesn't full, fully fill in. And I've hated that. I've seen that on the vice print that I did um, I've seen it on many prints. I've had people report that, that they don't get as good top surface with the extra fast profile. Well, I've actually fixed that. I've now come out with a extra fast profile for version five that fixes that, gets rid of most of those gaps, and it actually prints really nice. Now, did I lose some time? A little bit. This took 30 minutes with my extra fast profile. This took 31 minutes. So, I don't know what the actual percentage is, 2% or something, but 31 minutes versus 30 when the 020 <laughs> was 55 minutes. So again, I'm almost cutting time in half with this extra fast profile. And now with this better surface finish, it's really a great print profile. I still recommend a little better profile if you're doing some you know, stuff you want to look pretty. But this extra fast profile is becoming my favorite profile to do pretty much anything. Now I had a jig that I made for soldering a circuit board. It's got these clips that go on it and then I can easily put the board in place. This will be a future video sponsored by PCB Way. Um, but this jig was very easy to print. I used the extra fast profile. It took 68 minutes to print this thing and it's, it's actually pretty good quality. But the most important thing is it works fine. It would have taken me two hours to print this, over two hours to print this with my regular profiles. So for a functional print like this, it's fantastic. One of my viewers left a comment, it goes by Sabertooth Turtle. He said that he took my extra fast profile and improved it and made it even faster and was getting better prints. And he was nice enough to send me his profiles and I tried them, frankly, I wasn't getting anywhere near <laughs> as good a quality, but he had some very interesting settings in there that sped up the prints. So I went through my extra fast profile, I modified it with some of his settings that I experimented with and found which ones really helped and maybe which ones didn't need to be included. And I produced what I'm calling a hyper fast profile. Now this is strictly for a quick print, quick functional print. You really don't care how good the top surface is, although it's not bad. And it took this little print that was 31 minutes with my extra fast profile and did it in 22 minutes. So that's a pretty significant change. Nine minutes faster on a 31 minute print. That's almost a third faster. And the quality, definitely not as good, but not bad. And what I did then was took that jig for soldering the board, 
44 minutes to print it with the HyperFast, when this thing was 68 minutes, the original one, with my extra fast. So what would have been over two hours to print with my original profiles, I now had it down to 44 minutes. And this thing, again, I would not call this the prettiest. There's some little gaps in the base. The tops of these posts where the clips go on are just slightly you know, unfilled. But the clips go right on it. Everything lines up. The walls themselves that guide the clips, they're a little bit weaker than they are in this print. But that doesn't matter. 44 minutes. So if I needed to print a bunch of these, or say I destroyed it because I you know, heated it up too much and the plastic melted, I need to print another one. 44 minutes. I can go to lunch and come back and have a print ready to go. So I'm going to be releasing this profile as well. It's going to be still called a beta because I'm still playing with it. But man, this is fantastic. I now have high quality, medium quality, fast printing, and hyper fast printing, all for version 5.0. And I'll put links to all these in the description below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here. The Filament Friday.